What's up, fellas? So today we're here to talk about how to develop a masculine frame, all right? I told you guys once before how to maintain a masculine frame, uh, frame but before you can maintain one, you actually got to develop one. So here's the thing, guys. To develop a masculine frame, you simply got to be around masculine people, masculine men, all right? Here's the thing, guys. The reason y'all can't hold a masculine frame and y'all have more of a feminine feminine frame is because most of you guys grew up around women, all right? That's the bottom fucking line. Now, even with me, myself, I grew up around women up to I was about nine. And I took a lot of their characteristics. Uh, growing up around women, when I was like eight or nine, you know, seeing my aunties cross their legs and shit, I would cross my legs. All right? Seeing my auntie put their hands on their hips, I put my hands on my hips. You know, just like they did, because that's what I saw. Moved in with my uncle at nine years old, and he was not only a man, he was a man's man. He was the real fucking deal. Like, he was the kingpin of the neighborhood, and he, everybody respected him. And he was, he didn't laugh, he didn't joke. He was a man's man. And whenever he would see me uh, cross my legs or put my hands on my hip, he would slap me in the back of the goddamn head. It didn't take that long for me to break that shit up, all right? Whenever he saw that, he that's what he would do. He would slap me in the back of the head, all right? So if I probably would have kept going, hanging around women all the way up to I was going to high school or something like that right there, I probably would have had a very feminine frame also. a lot of, When I say feminine, I mean goofy and corny and playful and all that bullshit, all right? Gossiping and all that other shit. A lot of you guys like to gossip like women and, you know, your chatter bosses and your, your real emotional and all this other bullshit. That come from being raised around women, all right? So here's the thing, guys. If you want to develop a masculine frame, you're going to have to start hanging around masculine men. Guys, we are what we hang around, all right? Don't, do you guys know what an accent is? An accent is you move to a location and for long, your voice starts to mimic the people you live around. That's how big of hanging around people, our, that's how much we adapt to what we, our environment and what we hang around. Our voice starts to change. Everything about us starts to change, all right? Whatever you are, if you, listen, if you grow up, and your friends was a bunch of thugs and robbers and breaking in. Well, guess what your ass finna do? Opposed to if your friends was trying to make uh, A on a roll and win the spelling bee, well, guess what you gonna be? We are what we hang around. This is why I tell you guys, you gotta get rid of your beta male friends and all this other bullshit. Cause they beta male thoughts go influence you, all right? If, yo, if they smoking weed, guess what? Man, Pat, let me hit that bitch, man. We are what we hang around. You guys want to, you think Jay-Z finna be hanging around some broke dudes who work at the uh, car lot or some, uh, the, the car wash or some shit like that? He gonna hang around multi-millionaires and billionaires, all right? We are who we hang around. So to develop a more masculine frame, find you some more masculine friends or hang around some older guys, all right? It ain't gonna just, you ain't gonna just wake up out the bed tomorrow and naturally just, oh, I'm more masculine today. It don't work that way. All right, you got to hang around. If you want to be successful, you got to start hanging around more successful people. That's the bottom fucking line, guys. You can't be hanging around the bombs on the corner who down there selling nickel bag of weed and thinking you're going to grow up to be some big ass CEO mongrel. It don't work that way. All right, if you want to be successful, you got to hang around successful people. All right, you're going to pick up successful habits. All right, if you want to be more masculine, you're going to have to hang around more masculine men. All right, hang around your uncles, hang around old. I know a lot of you guys are young, 16, 17. Hang around your uncles, hang around your uh, grandparents, whatever the case may be, or hang around some older guys. Or if you see some guys that are very mature and very masculine, very mature for their age, or whatever the case may be, hang around them. That's where you're going to get it from. You're going to start to mimic them. All right, if one of you guys was to hang around me, you're going to start to mimic me. You're going to start to act like me. I'm talking about for you younger guys. All right, so this is the thing. Get away from around all that uh, feminine energy. You probably got you. You probably hanging around a lot of feminine energy guys, or you probably hanging around a bunch of females, or maybe you live in a house with a bunch of females, or maybe you raised by a bunch of females, and so you took their energy. All right. Well, only way you gonna get a more masculine energy is by hanging around more masculine men. That's the bottom fucking line. There you. It ain't. You can't. You can't wake up 
and you're just going to be like, you know, I'm going to be masculine today. It don't work that way. All right? We are what we hang around. So if you want to get more masculine, pick more masculine guys to be around. You're going to start to take after them. You're going to start to carry their energy. All right. And another thing, guys, on this, um, a guy had asked me about, uh, he had a girl that he was dating, and obviously she was dating other guys. And then uh, she canceled the date with him because a guy she was dating, it got a little bit more serious, and so she broke it off with him, all right? And then, like, a couple of weeks later, she came back. Now, guys, let me tell y'all guys something on this situation here. Basically, basically, he was sloppy seconds. Guys, I love being sloppy seconds. I love sloppy seconds. Slo slo sloppy seconds is the best thing because here's what happened, guys. Anytime you're sloppy seconds, essentially what you just said is somebody came back to you after something else didn't work. So what does that mean? That means you're in a weak position, right where a sleazeball wants you, all right? Guys, when somebody comes back to you, whether it's a girlfriend that broke up with you, a girl you was dating was like, hey, me and this guy, things started getting serious, or if a girl flaked on you, anything like that, and they contact you back, they're in a weak position, all right? They're in a vulnerable position, all right? Here's the thing, guys. Whenever you have a situation like that, you should be like, yeah, because you ought to know this bitch finna suck a whole lot of dick. I told y'all about that, that time the girl was blowing up my phone, blowing up my phone, just out the blue. You know, hadn't really been talking to her. And all of a sudden, she just blowing up my phone. Where you at? Where? I'm like, God damn, what is going on? All of a sudden, out the blue. What had happened was, whatever who she was fucking with, it probably went south. And so she felt vulnerable or lonely. Just out the blue. I hadn't heard from her like in six weeks and just all out the blue. One weekend, she just blowing up my phone. Just blowing up my fucking phone. And I told you guys, I met her with her at the bar with her friend. And right there in front of her den, I said, you're going to suck the shit out of my dick tonight. Right there in front of her friend. Because I knew she was vulnerable. I knew she was weak. I knew she had no power to say nothing. All right? So here's the thing, guys. Whenever you see somebody's in a weak, vulnerable position like that, in other words, what else they had done flamed out. All right? Because please understand, guys, if your girl break up with you and, you and she leave you, she had something else on the side. All right? She had something going it didn't go to, she, the grass wasn't greener like she thought it was, and now she's back with you, she's in a weak, vulnerable position, she's feeling weak, she has no will to say nothing against what you want, all right, that's why when I showed up to that goddamn bar, I said, right there in front of her friend, you're going to suck my dick tonight, right there in front, she couldn't say nothing, she's just sitting there like this here, like, I can't believe he said that, yeah, I, I said it because I know you're weak, you know, you just disappear for six fucking weeks, and all of a sudden, one fucking weekend, you blowing up my phone fucking eight times a day. I ain't no fucking fool. I know what happened. Whatever the fuck was going on in those six weeks, it done fucking flamed out. And so now you come running your ass back to me. So you're going to suck my dick tonight. That's what I said, and that's what I fucking meant. So, guys, here's the thing. And the reason why I tell you guys, don't never call a girl back if y'all break up. Because I've done that in the past and I've gotten back with a girl, and I had no power. In other words, the girl could disrespect me, and I couldn't say nothing. Guys, I, I didn't become this great dating coach uh, just pulling shit out the corner of my, my head, or pulling shit out my ass. I became a, date, a great dating coach because I done done it all and seen it all, and I done made a whole lot of mistakes in my life. That's why I can sit up and tell y'all what not to do. So this is why I tell you guys, don't call girls back. If you, you know, whatever the case may be, if y'all things flame out or whatever the case may be, because if you get back with her, you ain't got no say. So when I got back with a girl a long time ago, like when I was 23, after we had them broke up or whatever, and I called her back after two months of missing her and got weak, scarcity mindset. I told you guys I was a beta male. Scarcity mindset, I called her back. The girl came back, and I had no power to say nothing. So basically, she could do whatever the fuck she want, and I ain't had no say-so. How am I going to say something when I came crawling back? I ain't going to say crawling back, but I, I came back. I ain't got no fucking power. I ain't got no upper hand. This is essentially what she just gave you, all right? So when a girl does that, just tell her you tired, invite her over, and fuck the shit out of her. She, listen, guys, she's in no position to st stop your advances, all right? She's in no position. She already knows she disappeared or whatever the fuck she did. I guarantee you, if you invite her over and you make your moves, you're going to fuck because she's vulnerable. All right? What, see, what, what happens, guys, is this right here. Whatever she thought she had lined up, it flamed out or whatever the case may be, and so now she's feeling a little lonely, so right now she's got a void she want to fill. 
All right. She don't want to be lonely or she don't want her head thinking about him or whatever the case may be. Or maybe she want to have some get back in her head that, OK, I'm fucking this dude. So that's getting back at him or whatever the case may be. Whatever the case may be, take advantage of it. That's the sleazeball way. Now, when she comes over, I guarantee you she ain't going to stop your advances or nothing. All right. So you ain't going to take her out. If she says some shit like, uh, you want to meet out or can we just meet out? No, do not meet this girl out. If you meet her out, you putting the power back in her hand, all right? Because you invited her over, and she suggested y'all go out, and so now she know this motherfucker just weak. He invited me over. I told him I want to go out, and he didn't even have no backbone to stand by it. He's, uh, he's like, okay, all right. So invite her over. She might be like, well, don't you want to meet her? I'll say, no, maybe some other time. If uh, you can't make it over, then maybe we just try some other time or something like that. And more likely, she'll come on over, right? And when she come on over, you make your moves and you fuck the shit out of her. She has no play. If it's an ex-girlfriend or some shit like that, make her suck your dick or lick your ass, whatever the case may be. But if it's a girl that you was just dating and she had something else going on on the side and that got serious and that flamed out and now she's back to you, all right, now she's back to you, just invite her ass over. Don't even take her ass out. Just invite her ass over and fuck the shit out of her. All right, but getting back... Uh, on that masculine frame, guys, the thing is, you're going to have to hang around more masculine guys. That's where it's going to come around, come from, all right? You're going to have to if, look, at, look at your circle and look what you're doing and look who can you hang around to develop a more masculine frame. Who can you be around? Pick more mature friends, all right? If you're watching this and you're 18 or 19, probably start trying to hang around some 21, 22-year-olds if they're very mature. You're going to take after them. All right, that's the way it is. I can always tell when I see a guy that either uh, had a man in the household or he had some very masculine friends, all right, because I know he took that from them. It don't just come from the sky, guys, all right? Even if you have a, a naturally masculine uh, behavior, if you start hanging around some very feminine-ass um, men or, or women, you're going to lose some of that masculine edge. I advise you guys to start hanging around. If you got some goofy, corny friends, you might want to spend less time with them and hang around some grown-ass, mature-ass men. All right, that's how you're going to develop that masculine frame, guys. All right, guys. So I hope I cleared that up. I hope you guys know that if you want to develop a masculine frame, you're going to have to hang around masculine men. That's the bottom fucking line. It could be friends. It could be uh, parents, uncles, whoever the case may be. But you're going to have to hang around masculine men. All right. Like the video. Comment down below. I'll do it.